Hi everybody, this is Mike from AnalyticsReview.com. Wanted to take a second talk about building an executive dashboard in Google Analytics dashboards. We've written a lot on the site about how to build these from scratch, so I'll be linking back to the primers that we've written uh, previously on you know, uh, building these on your own and, and getting them to, to function how you want. But I wanted to really dig in here and talk about how to make a nice uh, high-level view for executives in your company, um, folks that you might be providing consulting to, or um, if it's your own site, just a really quick bird's eye view of how your site is performing and uh, some quick things to look at. So what I wanted to start with here is on the left-hand side, let's just talk about how many eyeballs are getting to the pages, how many unique visitors are coming through. Um, I've configured these in a pretty straightforward manner. Um, so if you look at how this widget is set up, it's under metric, and then you can really define any of the metrics that you want to see here. So if you wanted just standard page views instead of uniques, uh, you could do that as well. But what I like to make sure I do here is that if you did want to dig in and look a little bit deeper down into this report, uh, I make sure that I always link to either a report or a Google Analytics custom report URL down here. Um, you know, to really, if you want to dig deeper, you can. Uh, the option is there for you. The second thing that I like to do is I kind of like to turn this left-hand side of the dashboard into a funnel. Uh, that starts with users that get to your site and have an above average level of engagement. I know it's a cliche term these days, but uh, really what I like to use for a rule of thumb is anybody that spends beyond about uh, two to three times or even more if you wanted to set it average time on site. Uh, so they're, they're taking a look around, um, they're visiting several different pages on the site, they're reading a couple different articles, uh, and they're on the site long enough to, to take your, your goal action, uh, which in this case on my site is subscribing to my RSS feed. So, you know, really that kind of closes the loop of, you know, this many people are, are, are looking at various pages on my site, this many people are actually coming in, I have some pretty decent level of engagement, and then I have folks that are subscribing. So it gives me a nice little funnel there. The second thing I like to set up is uh, a little pie chart that shows visits by source. Um, how I like to configure that is just show the most slices possible and make that really the centerpiece of the dashboard since it's nice and big and colorful. Um, but it will give you know the top level folks at the company a good sense of how folks are finding the site um, and you know where those those big chunks uh, where the visitors are coming from. Um, in my case, I get a lot of stumble upon traffic and a lot of a lot of traffic from Google and Twitter as well. And then lastly, on the right hash here, if they really wanted to dig into you know, site performance, I have a couple major metrics. You know, average time on site, bounce rate. If that starts to drift up, uh, it's indicator to look at um, of, of how your site is performing in general. And then lastly, what I like to do here is, is put a, in a little keywords uh, section that just shows really the top five organic keywords. And what I've done in configuring this is I've actually excluded my brand exactly. If you have various brands that you need to exclude, you can actually set it up as a regular expression. Um, put parentheses around you know, the different um, strings that you're putting in there and separate your various branded uh, terms by pipes. So you could put another brand name in there if you wanted to. Um, and then I also um, make sure that I get the dreaded not provided traffic out of there. So um, I exclude anything with not. That's basically it though. So it creates a nice uh, one-shot view and if they want to dig deeper, like I said, just make sure it has a link to um, an existing analytics report or to a custom report 
um, if they can find out more uh, about whatever it is they're looking at.